Rasmus! Rasmus! That's his name in Danish. Which actually a lot of people don't know we're Danish. We grew up in a Danish household. That's why I said Rasmus. Hi Rasmus. Hi Christian. <laughs> so uh, we have to shoot a video today. Yeah, we do. So Good I'm call. just doing that right now. Good call. Yeah. So what's the video be about? I'm just gonna throw in should some. Should it be about what we're working on? Well, should I just show what I'm working on? The video is gonna be about what you're working on. Does this make sense? Okay. No. Um, but we'll pick it up later. We're about to go to our favorite cafe in Bali. This is my crate. Mm -hmm. Can I just spoil it? it? This that, is my crate outfit. That's your crate outfit. Yeah. Nice. Super colorful. In there. This is my crate outfit. Yeah, we're going to Crate Cafe. Our favorite cafe in Bali. Look at this. Look at look at how the shorts yeah, match not, the socks. Yeah, but they're not as good as these. Look. Yeah, but they're not as good as these socks. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, I mean, our. Whoo, not as good as these socks. Whoo, I mean, our sock game is these strong. Socks. These socks? It's a flamingo like donut, these motherfucker. A donut uh, flamingo. Is it domingo? No, these socks. These are the same I'm wearing those. Wearing. I'm wearing those. You like these socks? Yeah, the you avocado like ones. Socks? Yep. A Wacky sock, sock game like, on like point, baby. Socks? Yes. Like these socks? Yeah, I like those socks. You like these socks? Yeah. yeah, show me the socks. Show me the socks. Egypt. K-Tut, oh, baby. Yeah. Sock game, Dude, sock game strong. All right. Donut game strong real quick. Okay. Just, I'm not going to explain it. You just get to see this. Also, just one final thing, because people don't understand that we love our donuts. Let me get the notifications off my screen so that you can see. Donuts are life, fam. Donuts are life. All right, zoom out. All right, so yeah, let's go to our favorite cafe, Crate Cafe. What am I fucking See doing right there. now? I don't know. <laughs> See you there. Wait, let me. Wait, got it. Wait, uh, wait, no, it didn't. There we go. <laughs> Hi. Hello. This is Celine. <laughs> Hi, Celine. I'm eating. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really mean. sorry. That was very mean. I would hate if anyone ever did that to me. <laughs> you didn't even give me a heads up. Yeah. Dude, what happened? I just I put the camera, camera right in, in her face. <laughs> Selena's our little sister. She's in the uh, Audiobook Income Academy Facebook group as well. She's probably crushing you guys in audiobooks right now. Yeah. yeah. Put up that screenshot of her thing of her testimonial. Bang. Yeah. Five condo from the first book in uh -huh. the first like few weeks. Yeah. All right. Well, we're at Crate right now. It runs in the family. I this guess. this is the go-to, the Calrito. Look at oh. this shit. Look at this shit. Oh. Egg whites, a breakfast chicken. burrito with mm. yeah, egg whites, chicken. Mm. It's really healthy as well. Oh my god. Mm. So yeah. Mm. This is Crate Cafe, yep. our favorite cafe. And now we don't know what the video is gonna be about yet, do we? Mm -mm. We'll figure it out. Mm -mm. All right, do the thing. Do the thing. All right, Christian, let's go. We got videos to film. I'm working. On what? Ever heard of passive income? Passive income. Oh, yeah, passive income. No, actually, come on. We got to fill some videos. Passive income. We got to fill some videos. I'm serious, bro. Passive income. Passive income. Let's okay, go. Okay. Whoa, you can see my shadow. All right. Oh, this is hot. This is hot. This is hot. Let's go, uh, do the thing. What's the thing? Oh, the thing that I always say to do. Right, I'm gonna go shower and make some videos. New. So now we are sitting here on our pool table. Because why not? Because why not? Because we just need a new filming location every time. Yeah. Not every time. Yeah. I just switched every once But we're in Bali. our villa in Bali, Indonesia. We've been living here for like t two months now. We'll just say two months. Yeah. Uh, life in Bali is fucking amazing. I've been looking forward to it for six months and it's honestly better than I was even imagining. Mm -hmm. Literally, this is my f the favorite place I've ever lived. But well, what about Hawaii? We always say Hawaii. I, I prefer mean, depends, living here, but I, I would like ten if you had, times if you, rather live here. Oh yeah, me as well. But if you had the low prices and the same people here in Hawaii, yeah, okay. but, but the, let's not go on about that. But the people but. is the big one. And the low prices. And the low prices and the food, the everything. Guys, Bali is what it's made out to be. Mm -hmm. For us at least. Mm -hmm. It's really incredible. So but what I wanted to talk about in this video, you can you should see move here. Go. Yes, you should move here. But what you can see by the title of the video is no the title of the video is something along the lines of why we exposed the audiobook publishing gold mine that exists. Why we told everyone about ACX and like why you can make so much money with audiobooks. Um, now to a lot of people be like, oh, obviously like you want to help people. Like, yep, that's literally the answer. 
uh, but it goes deeper than that because a lot of people we've got a lot of angry emails. Can we from show people. an email? Well, we'll get into that. I just don't want to. I don't want to dig through the. E oh wait, no. if it's easy to find, yeah, then we put find. it up. Yeah. yeah. So we got angry emails, countless angry yeah. emails from people like you guys are so selfish. Oh, why couldn't you just keep it to ourselves? Just keep it a secret. The, the, the audiobook stuff to then, ourselves. Then now a small group of audiobook publishers can make a lot of money. Exactly. Now you gotta tell everyone. Yeah. Why do you fuck? have to tell everyone? Like we're selfish. You're ruining it for everyone. Yeah. You're exactly right. Uh, wow. You're ruining it for wow. everyone. Wow. Wow, I'm as if, realizing. yeah, yep, a hundred people is going to just ruin audiobooks yeah. throughout the whole world. Yeah. So, there's multiple reasons why we exposed it or whatever, which is a really stupid reason. It was just a clickbaity adjective to put in there. Uh, exposed is a verb, yeah. clickbaity verb. But it all stems from one thing. You guys ready for it? Mm -hmm. The we I've talked about it a lot of times on like Facebook because you're running this video. Right, right. So, uh, I told you, you just haven't remembered, but you'll see. Scarcity versus abundance mindset and just how fucking real that is and how 99% of people like civilians average people normal people uh, You grow up in a society that is filled with scarcity mindset. So everyone has a scarcity mindset That's that's average in today's society. Yeah, it's having scarcity mindset mm -hmm. now I can confidently say that both of us we have very 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 abundant mindsets and that has allowed us to I'm just gonna just allowed us it. to just, uh, like why we're in a place like this oh, wait, wait, wait. when you wait, have wait, an wait, wait 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 what oh yeah what's that what's that it's a, it's a wild that? ollie it's a wild ollie what's he doing he's talking to a mecca yeah it's actually pretty funny on the phone okay and we're back um yes so let me set up this camera again. Uh -huh. A big reason why we're here in this villa, like, ugh, honestly, I could rant for 10 minutes about how much I love life and how great our lives are. That can be a separate could. video on its own. Yeah, but I'm not going to. But so, yeah, yeah, we'll. So yeah, a big reason for that is because of the abundant mindsets, mindsets that we have. And it's not just in business or in audiobooks or like under a certain keyword, I'm abundant that there's enough for everyone. But it's just a widespread mindset for both of us in our lives that there is enough for us and everyone to live amazing lives and have everything we want. I want to say one okay. last thing is so we have the mindset like we ain't winning till the whole squad winning. It's not about just That's a life right there. That's and a life thing we live by. Finish, like uh, how many times do I say to Ollie, like, Ollie, I just want to give you $20,000. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I just tell him that all the time. Because I want to see Ollie win. Hey, Ollie. I want to see a Mecca win. I, I want to get, I want to give you $20,000. What do you think of that? I like that idea. You like that I'll idea? I'll allow it. He'll allow it. All right. Send me the PayPal link after, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I, I want to see a Mecca win. I want to see Marco win. I want to see all these people win. I'm just naming a few people, a few of our good friends. Um, First of all, money's and not I fun to have and I want to see one that every, has it. Exactly. Seriously, how exactly. boring would that be? There's an but unlimited uh, amount of money. You guys realize what money is? Money is just an exchange, a medium of exchange of value. There's unlimited amounts of value. Mm -hmm. There's unlimited amounts of money. I'm going to have millions of dollars. He's going to have millions of dollars. You're going to have millions, millions of dollars. dollars. Like, I'm not... No one else here, but yeah. I'm not worried about Gavin shit upstairs, like that. Gavin, has, no, Gavin's going to have millions, 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 millions of dollars. But... Like, Here's what I want to say uh, before before you go on about another thing. Mm -hmm. um, so the whole scarcity mindset thing, how selfish and egotistical wow. and narcissistic is it to believe that like um, that we need with, to keep with it to a world with seven billion people, this one person me. It's like you think you're the fucking center of the universe. Like only I can have it, or not only I only I can have it, but oh, if I tell him and three other people. Fuck, now it ruins it for everyone. It's now it ruins it. It's, I'm Do you understand that you're fucking, you're an ant. Yeah, that's so egotistical ant. to think that like, you have like, that much in the power. Grand scheme, in the grand scheme of like the whole world, I don't, just saying, I don't matter. No. Me, in the grand scheme of the whole world. We don't have the power to affect Amazon Fuck or no. Audible. Fuck um, no. But um, just how fucking pathetic of a mindset it is. Ooh. How selfish that is. It's so incredibly selfish. To just be worried about, oh, I want to keep it to myself. I mean, we're out here making YouTube videos, telling everyone about it because I'm passionate about telling people about it. I'm passionate about having, pe giving people the opportunity because I'm not, we can't do it for you, but we want to give you everything you need to change your life and do whatever with this vehicle, this vehicle specifically, which is what 
everything here is paid for by audiobook royalties. <laughs> People don't realize 100% that. 100% audiobook royalties. We could have never made a so, silly interview. We'd still be living yeah, here. Yeah, so I'm well, passionate. We probably wouldn't just I'm, by the way of how the world works, but we right. could have yeah. monetarily. I'm, I'm passionate Anyways. about showing people the opportunity that is audiobook publishing because there's enough for everyone to live amazing lives. We can all live our dream life. There's all no in. rule. There's no rule saying only one person can. Only only five people can live their dream life. So I'm doing it. I'm telling you right now. I'm doing it. He's doing I'm it. I'm doing it. We're, we're, Ole, come here. Wait. Uh, come here, Ole. We're leading by example by like living the life that we want. And I want. Oh yes. And I want Woo! everyone else. Dream to dream. Dream. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear what you uh, said. He's not gonna join us. <laughs> so. Um, that's honestly what it is. We have this abundant mindset. Everyone can have everything they want. Everyone can have $10,000 a month in passive income. Everyone can have, it goes way beyond business. It's just, man. And it's also the genuine want to, yeah, help people, give them the opportunity to change their lives. Right? Uh, 100%. Um, I feel kind that's of all it was. I, I could totally keep on talking about this, but that's really all it is. That's what it is, and I just encourage. I always say encourage. 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 Yeah, I always I encourage people to have the same mindset. There's a scarcity and there's an abundance mindset. A scarcity mindset. If you have that your whole life, one, you will not be very successful because you're trying to keep shit to yourself. And when you keep shit to yourself, that's not how you make money. You make money by helping people and providing value, um, and being selfish, keeping to yourself. It's just not gonna end well. It's just trust me. Trust me on that. Um, and you're gonna live a very unfulfilling life living that way. Always worried about oh my keyword. Someone heard about my keyword. That's just an audiobook example. Someone heard about my keyword now. Oh, also, you're only stuff. thinking on a money level. You're always like, gonna th be th paranoid about losing what you have. Yeah. Well, also Man. this whole thing that uh, money money won't make you happy. The whole thing, which okay, now that's a whole different discussion now. But if you do, we can only, go down, if you, we can if you go do down only, road. If you do only have money, and let's say you're not. There is no fulfillment in only making money. At Fuck all. no. There's Fuck none no. at all. But that's not to say money doesn't make you happy. Money makes you very happy. But once no, again, the discussion. things that money gets you makes you very happy. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, money is absolutely a great thing. And there's this negative societal connotation with money that money is evil. People who have money are evil. People who charge other people to help them and their services yeah, are yeah. evil. Here's something I want to oh say. Oh my God. God, oh my God, here's oh my God. Here's something oh. I want to say about that. I feel like someone, someone on Instagram sent a DM today. Mm -hmm. uh, they were just saying like, all these entrepreneurs online, like I could tell what their motive is to uh, like, like why they're making all these funnels and emails, collecting emails and doing training videos. I can tell it's, it's like they just want to make money. <laughs> oh the <laughs> Why the hell are you publishing? Oh my Why the God. hell are you publishing if not to make money? All right, so do you like, think I do this shit for free? Do you think anyone does this for free? The fact that people are oh, motivated to make money I to work. Talk. No. Who works for free? No one works for free. Yeah, no one works for free. The fact that, oh, they're just trying to make money, a lot of money. Yeah. And the most value yeah. you could provide, what, anything that you do that's career-based, is it not to make money? Yeah. The most value you could provide is to change someone's life. Take it from shit to amazing. That's the most valuable person you could do for someone. Person. And these other people think you're supposed to do it for free. Providing the most value that can ever be provided in something is supposed to be free. And here I'm talking about Courses, I want to quickly talk about that. There's this other connotation that, uh, I don't know if connotation is the right word, but there's this other idea that people who make money from courses, like more money from courses than this other thing that they teach how to make money with, as if there's that, scammers. Scammers. yeah, scammers. as if that is a bad thing. That is unethical. Like, wow, you have a really fucked up, no, it's not, it's not your fault. You have a civilian mindset. You have a civilian mindset if you believe that to be the case. Yeah, that's like that's so you're funny, like, providing so much value. You're teaching someone how to build income for themselves, their family, everything. That's so funny. Imagine you're in a position where uh, you I'm just do this thing. Let's, let's say you do publishing, and now you're selling courses. You're still making more from publishing, mm -hmm. but then oh oh, the course sales are doing well. Oh now make more from Oh no! Oh, oh you're a good Cut it off. Cut it off. We're cutting off sales. So that's just the <laughs> course is closed because yeah. I'm making more. Yeah. It sounds stupid, but some people think that's retarded. Yeah. Yeah. That that. Uh, is it fair? Is I will fair? say, funny enough, this month alone we've made more money from publishing yeah. than from uh, course sales. Yeah. But that's besides the point. Uh, I could talk about this for a lot longer time, uh, but I feel like.
this is mostly what I want to talk about. A mindset shift, have an abundance mindset. Give. There's an there's like I know for the both of us. I don't care how many people get into publishing, course creation, YouTube videos, whatever. There's always I'm always gonna get my piece of the pie. I'm so not worried about that. I know I'm gonna I like I'm just gonna say, I know we're gonna make a lot of money in our lives. I'm not worried about that at all. I already have the life I need. I could have nothing more in life and I've already achieved, I have not achieved what I wanted to, but I've achieved happiness. How fucking happy are we? The, I say this all the time, I believe I'm the happiest person in the world. You do say that a lot, I you say, say that, that all, all the time. time. I say it all the time. And, yeah, and, and we created it because in we less, realized less than two years. It, so. It's a mindset thing. Like you realize that you could do okay. all this shit. Everyone can do this shit. Let's end it on that. I was gonna say, man, you're repeating yourself. I know. Now, magic, the the magic emoji of the video is the eight ball for no reason other than that I have an eight ball in my hand. Also, that's the one and only reason. I was thinking, or the donut emoji because the beginning of the video we showed how much we love donuts. You did? Yeah, both. I mean, the first video with two magic emojis. Okay. Wow. Amazing. Well, I guess that ends this. Yep, that's the end of the video. Don't like, subscribe. Watch it. Wait, yeah, wait. Oh, we have to plug stuff. Um, l look at all of the resources in our description. There's shit to work with. If you want to know what we're doing, trainings, other resources, shit like that. Or don't do it. Honestly, don't do it. Don't. Please, no. please don't. If you don't want to take action and change your life, do not bother going that. It's just a waste of time if you don't want to do anything with it. So, yeah. See you in the next video. Goodbye. I just watched the fucking Mikkelsen twins. Uh, oh yeah, there.